Shalom, giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha HaKurash, double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone, who rule well, peace and salutations as always to the elect, and uh, just a quick update uh, going into the news, as you can see the title of this YouTube video, and I have a few uh, articles and things I want to go into, um, all right, the left hand uh, is getting ready to make their move. Um, everything that we, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, told them that they were going to do, they're doing it. And uh, we can clearly see the way that they're going to go about it is via a FF, all right, a false, all right, uh, flag. Okay, and it's only going to uh, heighten to where... Um, they're going to say things are spiraling out of control, all right? The uh, ish people are being attacked at a rate that is becoming unsustainable. We're going to have to suspend, you know, uh, online activity that deals with particular talking points, um, investigations, uh, you know, uh, people are going to be uh, thrown in jail, and these are the times that we spoke of. These are the things that we have been uh, harping on, starting with our apostles and elders for years, letting you know that these are the times that were coming. You know, this Israelite great awakening, it's beautiful and it comes with a lot of uh, sweetness. But there's a bitter side of it that a lot of Israelites, you know, uh, try to sidestep, as the scriptures say, the only way. To the kingdom of heaven, all right, is through Yahweh Shai. You can't go up no other way. You got to go through the straight gate. And uh, the scriptures say, the men of the Lord follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. And as Yahweh Shai sacrifice, his sacrifice led him to a very, very uncomfortable place. Well, that's where we're headed. And there's a lot happening. There's a lot of players on the left hand who are being used and placed in positions, you know, um, set up by, you know, the, 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 the man himself. But as we can see, everything's backfiring. And from the situation with uh, Kanye, Kyrie, and everything else happening, you know, pretty much the finger that they tried, you know, uh, to point at Jake is being pointed at them and it's, it's 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 bad these small hats are looking bad but as you can see the title of this video i'll play it and then i'll get a few articles a few scriptures and i'll close this out i don't want to make it too long breaking news a teenager under arrest accused of transmitting an online threat that triggered a warning from the fbi about a threat to synagogues in new jersey new jersey reporter anthony johnson is live in newark with the breaking details anthony yeah this appears to be a lone wolf who was radicalized online but did not there you go that's the wording that's the narrative someone who was radicalized online now I did a video the other day, you know, after watching the Priest Peshai's video on that word, radical. Okay, now when you hear it, you think that it's something or someone crazy. But again, this is just this is just how the left hand works and operates. The term itself, I mean what I'm looking up, Salakia. The term itself. Radical means originating in the root. All right. And see what, what they're uh, really afraid of is the ancient uh, way being rebirthed into the earth through the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. The ancient way. And that's what's happening. We're returning to our roots. All right. Uh, radical means originating in the root of the ground of body of, or fluids vital of life. <laughs> and we are that seed who was prophesied and promised to be raised up. The elect, the remnant, is ultimately who the uh, serpent, the dragon, is going to come after. But it's going to be much propaganda that he puts in place before he does that so that 
he is justified. And the things that we see happening, okay, are all, you know, uh, uh, enchantments. His uses of it anyway. Okay? You have all of this, uh, you know, nonsense going on in the media. Okay? But meanwhile, Jake is waking up. Okay? And that's all we're worried about is the elect waking up now. It says the figurative meaning going to the origin. Okay? Branch, root, the basic sense of the word in all meanings is pertaining to roots. So you have this, this, this term radicalized that they use in media all right, to make it seem as though someone is crazy. So again, we'll listen to this video, but uh, the, 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 the wording and the narrative that they're going to use is being radicalized online. Online hate speech is causing people to go and attack. We got to put an end to this. The writing's on the wall, you see? And we told you all there was a famine of the world coming. We told you all that Jacob's trouble was coming, but we were constantly mocked and told that we were fear mongers and to shut up. Okay, well, again, reality and prophecy ain't going nowhere. It's going to eventually hit you in the face. And we're coming into some very, very, you know, uh, bittersweet times. All right. And the flesh is going to be bitter. But for the spirit, it's needful for us to go through what the Heavenly Father is getting ready to take us through. And we were told by Yahweh Shai that these days were coming. And the prophets also prophesied of these days. The beauty of it is that we know the devil doesn't win. No matter what accusation or lie he comes with, the blood of Yahweh Shai covers the elect. So let's listen to this again. Let's listen to the whole thing. But that that radicalized online, there you go. So the, the, the point, as you can see, is, is, is people with particular talking points online are radicalizing people. All right. To the point where they're uh, uh, actually going to attack us. Okay. Let's go ahead and listen. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is live in Newark with the breaking details. Anthony. Yeah, this appears to be a lone wolf who was radicalized online but did not appear ready to carry out any type of attack but that did not stop the fbi from moving in and taking this whole situation seriously before something really did happen now the warning sent shock waves throughout the jewish community as the fbi reported a threat against synagogues and yeshivas it was all based on a threat made on social media which caught the attention of federal authorities social media online this is where it's going, and we've been telling you this for years, that this is where it's going to go, okay? Houses of worship were put on alert, and security was beefed up. The FBI quickly was able to mitigate the threat, locating the 18-year-old who talked about committing violence against members of the Jewish community. Omar al Katul was taken into custody, facing one count of transmitting a threat in interstate and foreign commerce. According to the criminal complaint, the suspect posted a social media link to a document entitled When Swords Collide, which talks about... There's always a document. <laughs> There's always a manifesto. Okay, and uh, yeah, the left hand is going to get very, very tacky. It's going to be absolutely uh, embarrassing the 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 way that they go however it's got to happen and you have to understand the lord has taken away the wisdom of teeming so they're not even thinking anymore they're just throwing a, a bunch of garbage out there and pretty much they're gonna have to just come with the sword they're just gonna have to come down with great wrath because uh they they're, they're running out of time they've been caught they're being identified and revealed and that's what would happen before the end of their reign all right the uh, accuser of our brethren will be cast down to be cast down is synonymous in the ancient world with being brought to a lower state all right meaning you're not looked at in high regard you're falling from your pomp you're falling from your heaven falling from your heaven doesn't mean you literally are kicked out of heaven falling from heaven 
is symbolic of you falling from your rulership. Okay? Now, let's keep listening. About attacking Jewish people. In it, the 18-year-old... How many times is he going to say that in this one video? I am the attacker and I would like to introduce myself. I am a Muslim with so many regrets, but I can assure you this attack is not one of them. All right, and we told you for years that this character by the name of Vocab Malone, all right, um, for years as uh, we identified it, he kind of stopped it, but his first talking point was constantly trying to link the Israelites to Islam, to Islamic terrorist. All right, when he first came out, those were his main two talking points. Okay, and over the years, there have been particular things that happen in the news that they're not going to go away. All right, you may think they, they're going away, but they're all going to be brought up and amalgamated and put into one batch. All right, as they make their final accusation against the, 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 the seed of the, the woman. Remember, in the garden, it said that the seed of the serpent, all right, would come after the, 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 the seed of the woman. They would have, have friction. And we're witnessing that. Okay, as a matter of fact, as we always bring out, let's get the book of Revelation, the uh, 12th chapter. And the red dragon in this chapter is dealing with the revival of Rome and ancient Rome under Herod. And the revival of Rome under Babylon, the great NATO and the EU, which are divided heavily in this time, showing us that we're in the time of the end of this man. But the, the point is in verse 17 and the dragon, the red dragon in this chapter. All right. The revised Rome was wroth, pissed off with the woman. Now, the scriptures tell you in Jeremiah six and two, I have likened the daughter of Zion unto a comely and delicate woman. OK, if you uh, are just tuning in and try to get an understanding of things, the nation of Israel or the daughter of Zion is likened unto a comely and delicate woman, the wife of the Most High. And the reason we're in this uh, destroyed state is because the covenant agreement we made with our husband was broken in the form of the first covenant. That's why we're under these curses. But as you can see. Jeremiah 6 and 2, I have likened the daughter of Zion unto a comely and delicate woman. So there's going to come a point where the seed of the woman, the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the remnant, which are going to return unto the heavenly father, all right, the rightful heirs of that land where there's much controversy surrounding it, the dragon, the seed of the serpent, the biblical Edomites is going to be wroth and Verse 17, it says the dragon was wroth, angry with the woman because she's crying out against him. She has a testimony and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Now, if you know anything about the Holy Scriptures, it, it, it prophesies that the remnant of Israel. OK, we're going to wake up. OK, all you have to do is type in remnant. In Israel. OK, and various scriptures will pop up. OK, Isaiah 10 and 20, and it shall come to pass that in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay or lean on for support on this devil. All right. Stay up on him that smote them. Who smote us? Who took us down? The Edomites. We're no longer leaning on them. We no longer are on, under their mind control, but shall stay up on Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel. All right. And there's various other scriptures that that deal with the remnant. The remnant of Israel are going to return. OK. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return. And that remnant. Out of all of the, 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 the people who are awakening to their Israelites, the heavenly father is dealing with a remnant. OK, a remnant. Give me one second here. Okay, it's going to be through a remnant that he restores the kingdom to the nation of Israel. So this is the day, the very day that our forefathers uh, wrote about. Okay. I will gather the remnant. So the remnant is dealing with the, the remnant of Israel. 
Okay. Jeremiah 31 and 7. For thus saith the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief nations. Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Yahweh, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. So there's going to be a great awakening in the latter days where the remnant of Israel are going to return from a dead state. And you're witnessing that. You're a part of that if you're coming into the understanding. So the dragon is wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. You see, so this this is all a part of the war that they're getting ready to wage on us. All right, to where they're losing and they cannot deal with us in a spiritual sense. So they have to use these various left hand means and enchantments to make us out to be carnal because there's no way we can win a carnal war against him. So he has to make it carnal because he can't deal with truth. Truth is the victor over uh, uh, this devil. The testimony that we hold, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which we have received through the Holy Spirit. He also claimed that he had made contact with Al-Qaeda. The details of the post are troubling and had a ripple effect here in New Jersey since the sp suspect, rather, was living in Saraville. al Qatul will appear this afternoon at 3 o'clock here in federal court. Now, if he is found guilty on this charge, he could end up sp facing, rather, five years behind bars. See, this is the times we're going into, and they're going to uh, ultimately... All right, uh, we're going to be brought before uh, the uh, council, before governors and all of that. All right, and um, it's not going to be fair. Brothers are going to be facing time. All right, but the, we have uh, the Holy Spirit on our side. It's all good. All right. Source may be credible. It's just the latest in a disturbing rise in anti-Semitism and violence against the Jewish community. The FBI late this afternoon saying it has received, quote, credible information about a broad threat to synagogues. Okay. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates is live at a synagogue in Maplewood with precautions put in place there. Tony? Yeah, Bill and Sade, that alert came out and quickly made its way to law enforcement across the state. So this was six days ago and is, is, is now, you know, <clears throat> on particular news uh, news feeds, but uh, let's look at a few articles real quick as well. Um, you remember this uh, whole fiasco with Nancy Pelosi where supposedly some man entered into her house, but that narrative quickly failed after, you know, all kind of questions came up. Now they're just trying to sweep it under the rug where, you know, ultimately it was some kind of freaky orgy going on. But amongst that, they didn't hesitate to throw in, all right, man accused of attacking Pelosi's husband was, uh, has spread anti-SIM uh, C theories, okay? And it's dealing with the, uh, the hollow denial, as you can see here, okay, see that? And the claim that the ish people are to blame for the war in Ukraine, so... They know that they're being called out. They know that there's a uh, finger pointed towards them. They know that everybody's on to them. So what they're doing is trying to take things into their own hands, create their own so-called heroes, create their own villains, and link it to people who are sincerely telling the truth. That's all that's happening. Another thing to take note of, okay, another thing to take note of is this individual here, here. We'll bring that out in another one. This individual here, Grandmaster J, was sentenced to uh, seven years. And we believe that he's definitely juiced in. The dude was a, a former presidential candidate. He was all over the place. But all of a sudden, some years ago, he popped up with a bunch of guns, you know, uh, claiming to be an Israelite. But it was mixed with all kind of, you know, Egyptian, you know, uh, and all of these various different philosophies. And it, it, it was a mess. But apparently at one of his, uh, uh, one of his uh, protests, you know, he had a Black Panther spirit and people were following him. And we told y'all that this dude was set up. 
Okay, this could just be uh, one of their uh, uh, tools on the left hand side. All right, and this could be something that they bring up because apparently he pointed a, a gun at a police officer. All right, but uh, Grandmaster Jay was sentenced to uh, seven years. Okay, so all of these things are getting ready to be brought up and linked to those who have the true testimony. This is the war that the uh, uh, the, the serpent or the dragon is going to have with the woman. And it's all a war against Yahweh Bashim Shai because we know the scriptures say that the Lord has sworn that he would have war with the seed of Amalek from generation unto generation. And we're witnessing that war. Okay. So this this dude is uh was was uh sentenced to jail and all of this is all happening around the same time you also have that dude from Wisconsin who ran over six people killing a few of them at the Christmas parade uh, remember when they looked on his social media supposedly uh uh he 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 uh supposed, supposedly he had something dealing with Israel, but it, it it didn't stick. It was tacky. But again, these are the things that they're they're gonna uh, uh, try to use. All right, the dude who he's basically representing himself in jail. <laughs> it's a mess. Um, let me see here, Wisconsin. I don't know the dude's name. Christmas parade. There, there we go. It's another thing to check out. Him. You know, this guy. Um, yeah, that, that number six, but he, he's been in a trial, you know, where he's representing himself, arguing, you know, uh, with the judge. I mean, it's just a complete fiasco. I mean, it's completely tacky. Looks suspect and fake, you know, but... uh yeah, this dude was a rapper, you know, but apparently, what's this dude's name? Daryl Brooks. Yeah, that's what we'll look up. Daryl Brooks. <laughs> trial. You look up this trial. <laughs> He's a victim of racism. And then, you know, when they sh showed the video of who ran over the people, it was an Edomite in the car. So there's a lot of left-hand things going on. He had a long life of crime. That shows you he's not a, 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 he's not a true Israelite. He's just a wicked Jake. But at the same time, they tried to link him to being an Israelite. So again, all of these various different situations are uh, happening and it's all happening at the same time this Kanye West, Kyrie Irving uh, uh, thing is going on. Let's get a scripture real quick. All right, this is the book of uh, Psalms 140 and 4. Keep me, O Yahweh, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have proposed to overthrow my goings. And why do they want to overthrow your, your, your going so much? Because you have the blessing, you have the birthright. Okay, they have that you possess something spiritually that they can't have. Why do you think they're trying to use all this technology to get control of, of human activity and, you know, transhuman? It says the proud have hit a snare for me and cords and have spread a net by the wayside. They have set gins for me. And these are all gins. These are all snares, as the scriptures say. Okay. As the scriptures say, they lay a snare for him that rebuke in the gate. Okay? This is that snare. This is a good one, too. This is uh, Isaiah 29 and 21. That make a man an offender for a word, and that lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and turn aside the just for a thing of naught. So this is a snare being laid for those who have the true testimony. See? And they know they can't come directly at us. They know they're not just going to 
put a microphone in the face of those who are, you know, really teaching you how about you, shine sincerity and truth. All right. So they're, you know, setting things up now. There are there were a few instances, uh, I believe, at, you know, a particular uh, Nets game where uh, particular camps showed up to show their support, you know, for uh, Kyrie and Kanye. And we, we're supporting the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. However, all right, we will use these things that are going on to show you that it's biblical prophecy. But we're not. Uh, when you when you look at this guy Kyrie, the dude's bugged out. He's all over the place. But what he did is being used by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. What Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai had him to do with that tweet or with the left hand thought that they were going to do by having him put the tweet out there to that. Uh, documentary, which that documentary and that guy who uh, uh, created it, you know, there's a lot of misinformation in that. The Hebrews to Negroes. And, as, you know, uh, uh, this dude is teaching our people we need to flee America and go to Africa. He's teaching that the so-called white man is Japheth. So there's a lot of misinformation. All right. Within that. So Esau sees that the elect are awakening. So what he's trying to do is just throw all manner of misinformation out there, all right, and put it under the guise of, of movement or whatever. And that's what he's been known to do. So we, again, you know, while we have emotions about, you know, these things that are happening, we can't take our eyes off of the fact that this is the devil at work. Okay, the, these things that are in the media and these things that are being allowed to talked about, be talked about, the, the devil has his hand in a lot of this. However... The spirit of the Lord is uh, uh, way greater than the devil. So we like what's happening with, with Kanye and Kyrie. OK, but the truth is going to come from the, 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 the actual faithful woman. All right. The, the elect, the lowly. And that's ultimately who we're here for, the elect. All right. These things that are happening are just happening. But it's the elect. OK, so they're lent. <coughs> They land a snare for him that reproveth in the gate, and him that reproveth in the gate has the true testimony. Okay? So this is nothing but an enchantment in, in my eyes. All of these things are enchantments. But again, like we say, the devil ain't gonna win. Okay? He's gonna fall in his own pit. Let's see here. He's going to fall in his own pit. Let's see here real quick. It's crazy when you when you get precepts to where Esau said, I'm going to kill my brother Jacob. It takes you to Cain and Abel and it gives you all manner of precepts that lead to what's happening now. All right. So I just wanted to bring that out. I got to get going. Get, hold on one second. All right. So this devil was on the move. I just wanted to go through those uh, few things. But ultimately, they, they are hiding snares. The proud have hit a snare for me. And these these are those snares. OK. So. There's another one I'm looking for, but I'll leave it there. I just wanted to bring those quick things out. Hey, Shalom.